Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty, and it is Thursday night instead of Wednesday night, as I tried to stream last night, and uh, something wrong with YouTube last night, and so I wasn't able to stream, but there was boxing, <laughs> if you were on there, there was some boxing <laughs> going on, but uh, I'm trying to see if I can get my camera up here for a second. Uh, is that it? Hi, CP. <laughs> Were you here when you saw the boxing yesterday? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe that. <laughs> uh, so I'm just waiting for everybody to come in. Um, I have a lot to do tonight. I'm trying to uh, go through it before Jen comes on. Jen is Oz Grant here on YouTube, and she usually streams on Thursday night at 9 Eastern. And Judy, hey, Joan. Um, so I have a couple things to share, and then I have some. Hi, Denise. <laughs> um, hi, Amy. So I'm going to show what's new in the store. I've uh, listed some things. I've restocked some things. Um, I'm going to play with the pigments tonight from Tokyo. I've got this cute little palette to play with. I have Stuart symbol or symbol. Uh, pal to play with tonight. Um, these cute little stamps I got at Michael's. <laughs> Is it focus on? I'll have to see if I can get the camera up. So we have a lot to do before nine o'clock. <laughs> All right. Hi, Natalie. Judy. Hi, Eileen. <laughs> All right. So let me start off with what's new in the store really quick, and then we'll get on to everything else. So, like I said, I've restocked some things in the store. Um, <clears throat> so, I'll just show you really quick what I have in the store. So, I've got one of these. I think one or two. You'll see I have one or two on there. It says what it is in stock. Um, I've got the new Marlene stamps came in. So, there's that one. This one. Oh, I'll have to see if I can turn that focus off. This one. And I did, some people asked back for the eye. Let me see if I can turn my focus off. Hold on. Oh, I don't know why I can't get that. Hold on. I have to say uh, out of it. There we go. Hold on. So I'm going to turn autofocus off and see if I can move my camera over just a little bit. You can't do that anymore. Like before, we used to be able to uh, do it before we got on. But with YouTube, it's, that's not possible. So sorry about that. I've got to uh, fix it now. Let's see. Nope, the other way. There we go. And then let's see. Do I want to go up? Nope. This way. Okay. That should be good enough. There we are. Oh. Hi, Dorothy. <laughs> All right. And I've got some new stencils. So these are, I think these are by, yeah, most of them are by Art Bar Marlene also. So there's this one. This one, Let's see this one, that one. These are by Gabrielle Piccolo, Piccolo. <laughs> I never can say her name right. That, uh, this, these are Vicki Boynton. So hers come three in a pack. So there's this one with, the, I bought it mostly for this one. Um, but it also has one of these and the script it has. So, and then I've got uh, one of these in the store. So you can check it out. And some things that were out of stock are in stock now. So, so you can just go to, if you're watching on YouTube, you're not used to my online store. It is paintandpaperstudio.com. All right. So we'll get that out of the way. <clears throat> Everyone, hi, Carrie Ann. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> oh, no, that's terrible. Well, it's unfortunate because I tried to stream last night and yesterday it was a problem um, because, oh, hold on in one second. I have to go get something. Just chat for yourself in a minute. Hey, you got the racket? You got the racket? Yeah. All right, sorry about that. I just have to get something here. If I can find it now, what happened? Darn it. 
All right, I have one other thing. I did get this for myself. So if anybody's interested, I can order this. This is the um, art journal by Art by Marlene. And it, it almost reminds me of the Dilusions uh, journal. Let's see if I can take this off. So it's very, um, it's as big as the Dilusions. <laughs> Sorry about the dogs. But they're going to bark for a little bit. Um, hi, Debbie. Um, and it's got this velvety um, material. It's kind of like, uh, feels like le a fake leather type thing. But it, and it has a cute little pocket with the zipper part here. And then this is all like, I think it's uh, watercolor paper. So take them outside. Um, sorry about the barking. Um, so, and I think if there's like 50 sheets, I can't remember really how many's in here. But so this will be something to play with. I like the fact that we could tear them out and put it in. Hi, Patty. Watching from the phone. Oh, okay, running errands. All right. So, so Jean's not going to be here. Um, Joan, do you mind if I mod you, Eileen? If you could mod Joan, because um, Jean is at the movies tonight. So, hi, Norma. Oh my gosh, you do not know how bad I needed that chocolate last night and today. <laughs> oh, I needed it bad. All right, so, and then I'll just show you, I went to Michael's really quick today. That's why I wasn't at Jean's this afternoon. Um, is Kathy Burke here? Kathy Burke here? Kathy, Kathy. Hi, Sharon. Well, Kathy always wants me to show my, this is my little watercolor book, my swatch book. So you can see this is some fabric that I jelly printed. Yeah, we're going to be. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so this is my little teddy bear, and I've got like a plastic on so it doesn't get dirty. And then this is just jelly plated on a piece of fabric that I made. And then um, I put some watercolor paper on the inside. It's got a little tiny pocket. And then these are all my swatches. But I want to switch it now. So what I want to do is I'm going to use these mixed media. Um, is it right if I mod you, Joan? Um, Eileen, you can't do it. Oh, you can't mod. Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Joan, 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 where are you? Uh, there we go. You got the power, Joan. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I want to do is this is the Strathmore uh, mixed media paper. It's pretty nice. It's soft covered. Um, and the paper is it's not bad. So thank you, Joan. Um so what I want to do is, uh, you saw my stream, I think it was when we did the jelly plate, and I showed you some fabric that Barb had gifted me. We actually traded. I gave her something. She gave me, the, I asked for the fabric, of course. So I want to put her fabric on, on the outside of this cover. It's a nice um, kind of like vinyl, leathery, fake leather type thing. Hey, Janet. Um, so I'm actually going to do some my swatching in here from now. And it lays pretty flat. You can see that. It's all stitched. These were um, only $15. And you can't use your coupon at Michael's for these. I got these at Michael's um, because it's their everyday price. <laughs> I was like, are you really for sure? Um, and it's 64 pages. So, um, hi, Joyce. Yo, Joyce. So, yeah, so, and it's a nice size. It's a little bit bigger than this, so I'm figuring, I want to do, if you watch Dee Dee, she's Inky Well here on YouTube. She tells us a million times to go to, um, is it Design Seed, Eileen? Um, that's where it has, like, a picture, and then it gives you all the colors. I really want to start working on my backgrounds, trying to get them a little bit better. So, um, I'm going to put some of those Design Seeds on here and then swatch them. You could jelly print with, PBO paints to oh onto the back yes I could do that thanks Deb um, yes designseeds.com and they have got some great pictures so I'm going to add like a little picture I might put it on like sticker paper put it on there and then try to match up my watercolors um, with that so those are my two things this I got at um, Michaels and then Petra I hope I say her name right I think it's Petra. 
Um, she had showed me these. She's from the UK, and she watches my streams because it's too late for her. She can't stay up. Um, and she told me about these cute little stamps, these Halloween stamps. And I got it mostly for, of course, for the mermaids, not too much for the unicorns. But aren't they cute? They're like Halloween, um, Halloweenish. She tweets pictures also. Who tweets? Oh, yeah, CB. Look at that. Because CB loves that kind of stuff. She loves Halloween. Look at the fish, too. I love the fish. And then these two um, mermaids. What? What I want to do is when, you know, uh, Michaels has the mermaid, you know, the skeleton mermaid. I'd like to dress that up for Halloween. So hopefully we could do that before my surgery. All right. So we got that going. Hi, Belda. From West Palm Beach. Welcome. All right, so that is that. Um, let's see. So we're going to swatch these, but I think I'm going to do is I'm going to show Norma's box first because I have been waiting like three days to open it. Um, I also got this. This is a teal um, foil from Tokyo Pigments, and I already um, – so we're going to try this tonight. I've already used – this is the Tacky When, when Dry Gel Medium. So I actually did this yesterday around mm, four o'clock. So I don't know if you can see, see all the glossy. So it goes on white and then once it's clear, it's dry and ready to use. So we're going to put the foil on here after we finish opening Norma's gift. Um, her happy mail, I should say. All right, so let me put that to the side. We're gonna swatch this and I'm going to, um, I don't want to hear what about the foil. <laughs> poor, poor Janet. When you order your rose gold, I'm sending you foil. <laughs> and then we're going to uh, take a look at this. All right. So so I've already just sliced. Let's to see. Oh, she does. Okay, good. We're going to use a foil tonight. <laughs> um, so let's see. Oh, I have one other book. Wait, before we do that, I got one more thing to show you. I'm just going to do this really quick. Eileen made us all pre-order this. So if you know Ray Missing, Missingham, Missing, is that how you say Miss Missingham? Man, <laughs> um, she's got a new book out, Paint, Play, and Explore. I love her backgrounds. Her backgrounds are so pretty. And so um, this is over on Amazon now. And so let's see here. You can see the difference. She has a couple. Did you read it, Eileen? I still didn't get a chance to do it. I've just had, like, I love this. Like, and she has big full pages of her um, backgrounds. Look at that one. That one's really nice, too. So I'm just going to flip through here really quick. I, I think you can go on Amazon, and um, you probably could see a couple pages on there. Um, who else got this? I think Dorothy. Dorothy, did you order this, too? Look at that. So, and she goes step by step if you want to recreate this. So we'll have to do that one night. Maybe try to um, do one of these books. Not all of, but yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, so she talks about ink, of course, and the different you know types of things, mark mark uh, making, um, and she, you know, it it is a really good book. So for what I've seen, so yeah, it's got a little canvas like this. She shows you the glue. You could use like glue around your canvas, and it acts like a resist. You have it too, Dorothy. That's good. Yeah, so so we're definitely going to do uh, this one day. If you like this, that one <laughs> before, but I'll just give you a quick flip through of the book. So, like I said, you could it's already out now. It was pre-order, but now you can actually get your hands on it. So take a look at that. <laughs> and she shows you, you know different toilet paper to make the different marks, all different kinds of things. I have that little tool. <laughs> Same thing. So if you know that this book is not for you, <laughs> this is true. Like, this, I like her little books, you know, her background. So definitely want to work on the backgrounds. So that is that. Anything else I'd like to show you before we get into Norma's bag? <laughs> I don't think so. All right. So I'm going to open the first. I've already opened the chocolate, and I've already had the caramel. Is it the caramel with the salt? Oh, my gosh, that's so good. I had half of it yesterday, and I had half of it today. <laughs> so it's already gone. I needed it. <laughs> Believe me. 
If you only knew. All right. So, of course, she sent me some of this bubble wrap that has the um, pattern on it. Yeah, I've never seen this before. Dee Dee got one, I think, was white and black. And then Janet and I, I think, both got this, the one with the dots. So, uh, just do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, first, I'm going to open the card. I didn't get to do yet. Oh, she says thank you to me. She says, be thank you, Norma. Well, and she put, of course, the Little Mermaid from Jane on there. <laughs> so, so I don't want to. Um, so I'll use the stickers again. There we go. Cute little card. Let's have to read it. Oh, thank you, Norma. <laughs> so it's a cute little card and a note for Norma. And she's, uh, if you see her here, she's Bronson Limo in the chat. So the first thing that's on top is um, calendar pages. And this has got like, feels like texture. I don't know if you can see it. So, yeah, there you go. You can see the texture in it. So it feels like kind of like vinyl almost. But look at that. Enjoy a quiet moment. Oh, darn it. Hold on. I'm going to look at picture microphone. Not yet. Hold on. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't interfere with us. Pretty, isn't it? And then feathers. This looks like parrot feathers. And this one in the blue. Oh, this one's cute. Beach. I told her I love anything beach. <laughs> it says, live in the sunshine, swim the sea, drink the wild air. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? And I love this one. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, we need a mermaid coming out of the water <laughs> with this one. <laughs> you can smell the burning cheese. Ew. Oh, she's in the McDonald's. <laughs> So there's that. And then here's another one that's kind of like vinyl-y. So, and this one is Make Gentle Breezes Calm Your Soul. I love the sun. So we'll definitely use that. I love the feathers. Hi, Nisha. Uh-oh. Don't look, Eileen. <laughs> but I do love flamingos, so I'll have to do a quick pan through that one. Sorry, Eileen. <laughs> and this one is Soak Up All of Life's Goodness Warms the Heart. And so it's another beach one. <laughs> so thank you for those. That'll be good. Um, <laughs> poor Eileen. <laughs> You're lucky she didn't send me one with pink feathers on here. <laughs> uh, okay, Patty. <laughs> thank you for the calendar page. All right. So let me reach in here and see what else is next. You like the feathers? <laughs> so that's tissue paper. I always use that. Oops, there goes my phone. And then, oh, I'm hoping this is what I'm thinking it is. Oh, look at that. This is her pores. Um, if you've seen her do her pores, um, she gave uh, Dee Dee, I think it was white and gold flowers, and then one for Janet. Isn't that pretty? I love the way that how she swirls that around to make that look like feathers. You see that? Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? And then she gave us each all, look how pretty the frame is all the way around it. It's so cool the way you do that. You definitely should stream. Oh my gosh, and she's got a little note here in the back. Um, Abstract flowers, acrylic paint on canvas fabric, poor puddle painting, and blown with a straw. Oh, okay. So both. So these are blown with a straw, too. I like the way it's got, like, crackling in there, too. Can you see that? Yeah, she should sell these. Does she have an Etsy yet? Hi, Tam. I'm just waiting to see if she's got an Etsy or not. It is gorgeous, isn't it? 
Thank you so much for gifting me one of these. It's so pretty. You can see that there. Where did she go? There's Dee Dee. Look, I got one too. <laughs> Dee says she arranged her shelves to make a space to hang in. <laughs> did she get kicked out? Where is she? She does have an Etsy. Thank you, Sharon. She definitely should sell these because they're awesome. I don't know if you can tell. It's got some like black and silver in there. It's really pretty. I don't see her. Where is she? Oh, she might be working. I thought I saw her pop in, though, before, like when we started. All right. So let me see what else is in the box. I have the box way back here. Um, oh, wow. So this is a calendar, 2018, 2017. So nice. This almost looks like the Strathmore book I could have used for. Uh, she was here, but she watches. Oh, and she's working. Got you. Oh, thank you for this. Look at that. So I'll be able to, um, to color. Oh, and it's got some maps. Look. Look at that. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh, yes. Etsy shop. So there it is. Norma Jean Handmade Art. So you guys have to check her out there. I see her, Joan. Thank you. Oh, look at this. International Dialing. Oh, it's got the little um, area codes for uh, the phone. That's cool. Oh, look at that. Area codes. The United States. So thank you for this. I definitely will use this. I probably will um, use it kind of like a more like a journal. So, and then it's got some cool. Can you see it? It's like gold. Yeah, there, it's like sparkly all the way around. Thank you so much. Nice leather bound journal. All right, so I can't read. I gotta read. Hold on, I've gotta get up and get it. Uh, oh, this is scraps of jelly paint and plate images, frozen painting papers for art and collage. So we each got one of those. I know Dee Dee got some, Janet got some the other night. She does awesome transfers on uh, the jelly plate. I've only done it when Paula showed me when we went to the art uh, weekend. You turned yours into a napkin journal. Wow. You use mine as an art journal, too. Okay, that's what I'm going to do, too. So look at that. So that's a jelly plate. You can see that. And she has some awesome uh, wedding. She gave Janet some beautiful uh, postcards of, like, the wedding. So you can see. This one's got glitter on it, too. I don't know if you can see the glitter. A mm, little bit right there. Silver glitter. Her transfers come out so nice, don't they? I, I have a hard time with the transfers myself. <laughs> There's that. Never enough feet pampering? What? <laughs> Pamper those feet. We already do. Oh, she must be talking to CB. And here's another one. I don't know which one this way goes. Looks like an eye right there, but I can't really tell which one it is. Looks like an eye and a nose, doesn't it? <laughs> so, Fail, you failed at the jelly technique. I know, me too. I can't quite get it. She does it really well. Like, look at all her transfers, how nice they are. This one's a cool one. That purple and blue. I almost thought that was zebra stripes right there for a second. <laughs> and this one with the guitar. Guy playing rock and roll. Oh, look how cute her face is. Oh, isn't she cute? So does Jean, the blonde woman, stamping. She does too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so cool. Oh, and this one is on like, is it just cardstock? It feels different. There's another one. You get a lot of women, oh, uh, wedding magazines. Oh, due to the limo biz, gotcha. 
There's that one. These will be great. I think what I'm going to do is probably punch circles out a lot out of mine. Oh, I love this one. This is like ocean. This feels really, um, this must be a pour, right? Yeah, it feels like a, a pour. Look how cool that is. Yeah, these are pours. You can see some cells in there. You can see the cells right there. If you like flowers, you're happy. <laughs> Oh, look how cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, these are big, giant stickers. Oh, wow. Look at that. Cute. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. Wow, these are really cute. <laughs> uh, Jean, blonde woman, stamp is your inspiration, really? Oh, she does her, her awesome transfers, too. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, they're perfect for me, Dee Dee, right? Look how cute that one is. I love the brown hair. I try to do um, a lot of brown eyes. I'm trying to practice. I love that one, too. Look how cute that one is. <laughs> they're really cute. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's so cute. Thank you so much for those, for everything, really. You're way too generous. You should really think her box was so so expensive to send to everyone. You really should do flat rate when you uh, ship. You can see the face in here, right in there. There's another, another transfer right there. These are so awesome. There's another one. This one's cool too, with the red, red and yellow. Um, let's see. That one looks like a little clown there, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I love that face. That's the one on that book that Janet was talking about the other night. Uh, what were you talking about? Uh, the book that Kathy was talking about, how to draw faces and hands, is it? Hi, Kayla. Did you get your package? Um, some more jelly printing, jelly printing. What type of pictures transfer uh, the best? I don't know which one she uses. These are cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is another um, from the pores. You see that? These are definitely going to punch bubbles. I think I'm going to make bubbles out of these. <sighs> Picking Norma's brain, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh, so cool. I'm definitely going to do bubbles. I could maybe do uh, – I might be able to cut some of um, the new dies from Jane that I got, the uh, Jane Davenport dies. That would be cute. Oh, look at this one. Look at that. I love that part right there. Isn't that cool? Oh, Audrey Hepburn. I think it is, right, Dorothy? I think it is. It's that book that Janet showed us the other night. There's this one. This one would be really cool. Oh, you did. Okay, good. I was wondering. Oh, look at this. Looks just like a beach, doesn't it, right there? <laughs> With, like lightning striking down. How cool is that? They're really cool. Oh, I love this one. Look at that. Green, you girls should love that, Eileen. <laughs> Hi, Vicki. There's another one. Oh, my gosh, look how cool. Oh, and she used the back of the, um, you know, the paper pads. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, she's powerless. Yeah, <laughs> Gail's powerless tonight. <laughs> she had the power when she was at uh, Patty's. <laughs> this also gives a nice texture because you know that this paper's got like texture on there. Can you see that? Hi, Dar. Oh, faces too. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. 
It takes time to cut all this stuff out, too. This one would be a great one for Halloween to put a witch's hat on her. Can you see her with her purple hair? I love this for um, Halloween. Wow, oh, there's this one with the braids. Look how cool that is. Hi, Peg. Hi, Julie. Can you see you come in? Thank you for cutting these out. I always want to get some faces, and I don't really buy magazines. So oh, this one's cool. The curlers like. <laughs> that one's cool, too. And that one. I'll have to do, use these because I don't really use too much magazines. I like um, Packer Dye. She's so good at that, isn't she? Using um, all the magazines on there. <laughs> Poor Gayla, she needs a cleaning fairy. I love that. I love her. I love the. I love any ones with the brown eyes because I'm really trying to work on my brown eye girls. There's that one. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Aww. Wedding. Gabby's in Greece now. The wedding is it's either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, they, they were supposed to go to Santorini, but they are having a ferry strike, so they're not able to go. She's so disappointed. She really wanted to go there because they could only do it either one or two days, and both days the ferry um, is on strike. So they had booked an Airbnb. They lost their money for that. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for all these faces. Oh, I can't wait to use some of these. Plus, I've been drawing, too. So I usually go on Pinterest or I do, uh, uh, I know. What can you do, CB? Um, so I'm also using them to draw. So how cool are these? See, like this one? I love that one, the Asian one. Because I have quite a few Asian stuff. Yeah, that takes a lot of time to cut all that stuff out. Yeah, I forget. Something else happened. They missed the ferry for that. And then I can't remember what else. So I asked her about the food. I said, so what have you been eating for food? She goes, gyros. She loves gyros. So, <laughs> um, oh, look at her. She's pretty. She's like an old, like the 50s uh, hairdo. That's cool that one so I like the three-quarter face because I've been trying to practice with that too and like this one like you can't even hardly see her eye there that's a good one to practice for the nose yeah it's tons of faces so, so I'm just gonna go through them really quick because we have a lot to do and I want to make sure I get through everything before we get the Jen's um, stream tonight that's a good one too so I love the way the eyes look like that <laughs> It is a good selection of faces. Perfect. And there's another one. It looks like she has wings. <laughs> um, glasses, too. I want to try to draw with the um, sunglasses and regular glasses and braids. Braids are so hard. I find the braids, braids hard to do. And, and the lips with the teeth, that's another one that's hard for me. Like this one's a good one with the teeth. Look at that. Practicing. So I'm figured too when I'm in surgery, I want to practice more like my eyes and my nose and my mouth, you know, especially that with like teeth. Because they always look so weird when you put the teeth in there. <laughs> There's another one with sunglasses. Uh, transfers are thinner, glossy finish with a lot of contrast in the middle, in the image. That's what uh, Norma's saying. This one's a good one too. Look at her eyes. She's so like staring so hard <laughs> and hands that's a good one <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna oh Jennifer Anderson I'm just gonna run through these really quick so that we'll have time to do everything oh look at that one that's another witch <laughs> that's a good witch right there too <laughs> that one. Oh, she's pretty too with their hair that's hair is another one that's hard for me to do like wispy long hair oops 
there's another brown eyed girl. Oh, I'm so glad to get so many brown eyed girls. Usually um, it's hard. Usually it's blue or green. So there's those two. That one. Ooh, she's got a mean look on her too. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there she's a lot happier there. <laughs> Like that, that one. Do you have a surgery? No, it's going to probably be the. I'm going to say the last first weeks of October. I'm planning the last week in October because so my birthday is on the 17th, and I don't want to have it before my birthday. So definitely going to be after my birthday. <laughs> Oh, she just had her baby. Did you see? I'm working on, you're working on large faces series. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. There's that one. The hair is pretty too. Like that. I draw mostly hair that's like that long and wispy. So I want to start to do some other different hairstyles. See like this? This is cute. The little hairstyles there. Oh, another brown eye. Wow, you gave me a lot of girls with brown eyes. You must have known. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Thank you for all the faces. Oh, my gosh. I'm definitely going to use those. Definitely. All right. So those are the little scraps. And my little mermaids. I love these. The little mermaids in here. Oh, my gosh. They're so cute. <laughs> so cute. All right. So I'll stick these back in here. Put that over there. All right, we'll get one out. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how cute stencils can see here. So this one says summer. This one's got fruit. That one's hard to see because it's all yellow in the background. Oh, don't look, Eileen. <laughs> Another one, vacation. Oh, these are cute. Look at that with the ice cream cones. It's hard to see with the ice cream cones. If you can see there. This one's cute too, like uh, waves or mermaid. That one's cute. Oh my gosh, you're too generous, Norma. Thank you so much. Look at. And then these. Oh my gosh, I love the mermaids. These little uh, holographic mermaids. I used them, Sue, very nice Sue. She gave me one of these, and I used them for uh, <laughs> for Arlene. Good grief, they're everywhere, <laughs> her pink flamingos. <laughs> All right, I have to stand up. It's getting inside the box now. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> But she gave us all this tape. Can you see the sassy girl tape? <laughs> the little girl with the eyes heels says, hello. Hello, lovely. <laughs> the washi tape. And then look at this. She gave me some fine tip markers. That'll work out nice. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. So generous. Oh, my gosh. Love to see how I'm going to organize it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, the camera is so slow. What do you mean the so slow iron fist? Welcome. Um, oh, and then she made cards. She see she sews all these cards. I will glean. I'll let you know how they work out. All right. So she had gifted, I know she gifted some to Dee Dee. So there we go. Aren't they pretty? Look at that. And you painted the whole background? These are cute. Eileen? <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. They're so pretty.
Thank you for these. And then she, she sewed all of these too. So you can see that on her sewing machine. So it says, Handmade with Love by Norma. Yeah, the cards are cool. So that'll be good. I'll use those while I'm in um, surgery. Oh, look, she's got even little samples of her cards. <laughs> you melted a, a flamingo in the glass. Where is that? <laughs> I don't see that. I don't see a flamingo in here. <laughs> There we go. All right. Let me get the rest of this stuff out. Oh my gosh, there's still a ton of stuff in here. Pink liquid? Oh, sorry. All right, I'm going to pull the rest of this out just so that I can. Oh my gosh, more collage father. Wow. Oh my gosh, Norma, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, she went crazy. I'm going to pull everything out that's left in the bottom. Uh, colored on your sewing machine, the note cards. All right, and that will be the end, the bottom. Oh, my goodness. All right, let me just stick some of this back in here. It's like Christmas. It is, Sharon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So I'm going to see these for last. So, um, oh, more washi. I love white and black washi tape. So thank you for that. This is thanks. I'll use that on my packages. Let's stick that there. Oh, and she made little flags like Dee Dee does. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It feels like Christmas. It does. So what she does is she takes all the little ribbons and then adds them on um, paper clips. So it feels like that. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Thank you for those. See all the little different ribbons on there? Norma was watching the other night and she opened the box and she loved the jewelry. Oh my gosh, yeah. Aww. Then she sent me little owls. Joan loves owls. <laughs> Eileen, <laughs> uh, we have another problem. So again, some more little fodder, fodder, fodder. <laughs> Going to have to build an ex <laughs> I am. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through these really quick. Who did that one? Thank you, Chan. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, look, I got the same one like Janet. <laughs> the Time Travelers. I love that for steampunk. <laughs> yeah, they call their friends at Must. Because we had two tonight already. We've only been on not even an hour, I don't think. <laughs> Aw. There's that. Hi, Monique. Oh, that one's cute. Deliciously made for you. <laughs> and like I said, I didn't show my chocolate because <laughs> I've already eaten one chocolate. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. <clears throat> uh, those who wish to sing always fi find a song. These are so cute. Well, those two. <clears throat> All right, so we'll stick those back in. We're gonna have to make a whole draw just for Nor <laughs> for Norma. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, and then there's more little chipboard pieces. Let me stick that in there. Thank you so much for all of this. Well, this is like graphic 45, a little chipboard pieces. And some more little sayings. You can see that there. With the little grid paper. Cute as that. 
One more time. Time travel. Puzzle of joy. Oh, look at these. Oh, it'll be perfect. <laughs> she is so sweet, isn't she? Oh my gosh, she sent off to send you something. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you must have a ton of stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, you know what this is? This is like a little bookmark. I love this. I had one and I gave it away and now I got one back. Oh, I'm gonna stick that in my journal. Can you see? It's like a little a little clip. I'm gonna keep that out. I'm going to be <laughs> it'll be good though. So when I'm like um I'll pull all this stuff out when I'm um just laying around and then try to put it in a, in a journal or make some cards. So so thank you so much for all this ephemera look at these this is like vintage um little passports and postcards you see that aren't they cute those are cute to put in uh in a journal <laughs> look at this one <laughs> is this another one what is this is this like a clip oh it's a little jukebox like <laughs> Oh, no matter how tall I grow, I will always look up to you. <laughs> Achievement certificate. Some more ephemera. I told her I love vintage stuff. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. Popsicles. <laughs> so I can write on those. These will be great. One of them curls. More paper. Oh, library cards. I always love these. You can always do these. Hi, Cece. Just going through some happy mail that Norma had gifted me. Oh, my gosh. She is so too, too generous. She has gifted almost all the girls something. And she spent a lot of money for postage. That was like, oh, my gosh, so generous. some more um fathers fodder let's get that on so some more faces i'm not going to go through the whole thing <clears throat> that thank you so much for that because like i said i'm for draw getting ready for faces drawing so i'm definitely gonna cherish those <coughs> oh look at the giraffe isn't that cute look at that oh <laughs> Some more collage, people, figures. So I'll definitely, definitely do that. This is all cutouts. Oh my gosh, so many nice cutouts. What's in here? Scrap paper. Oh, seashell stuff, because she knows I love the sea. <laughs> That's all different layers of paper cut. Can you see that? This one. Border. Some more little ephemera pieces. Let's go back in there. I hope we can get through to everything. Oh my gosh, I have to look. I'll have to just take a peek in here. <laughs> Some more ocean stuff. Oh, look at these. Oh, there's a lot of um, sea things in here. <laughs> no, I didn't show the paint, so I'm getting ready to do that next. It's been taking me this long just to go through Norma's um, stuff. Look at that. Like I said, I don't want to... Oh, she must have pulled like a whole... Um, well, this is like a whole... I'll just pull this part out. I'll just pull this out. Oh, look at the fish. Look at that. I love when Dee Dee draws this fish. What is that fish called? I forget. It's not the, um, Dee Dee does these fish. She does a beautiful job when she paints those fish. But it's a whole magazine of, like, undersea stuff. Look at that. 
Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying if I could pull out some cool pieces. <coughs> oh, this fish. I love this fish. That um, And I don't know what the name of it is. These fishes. You see Dee Dee, um, she draws these on her big, she has a big scroll of um, like uh, craft paper, you know, that you would do. Um, oh, lionfish. Thank you. They're terrible. They ruin the sea, really, but they're so cool looking. So thank you, Norma, for these. I'm definitely going to use these for sure. Oh, he's back again. Oh, my gosh. It's the third one now tonight. Oh, napkins. Oh, look at these. Of course, I love these. Oh, they're all different. Look at that. There's the seashell one, Some flowers, little butterflies, stripes and dots. How cool is that? More butterflies. I forget, Debbie. I think Debbie was the last one to um, do a napkin swap. Somebody should do another napkin swap. Little flower. This one's Paris. I always love ones in Paris. And the white and blue. I'll use this for Gabby for Greece. She'll love that. Two more napkins. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty with the uh, sand dollars. You don't listen. Why? Janice plan. Oh, UT. Oh, this one's like ladybugs. That would be uh, Ella. Ella loves ladybugs. <laughs> so there's those. My gosh, look how huge these other ones are. They're huge. Some more napkins. Oh, this will be good for Greece, too, with the olives. Oh, my gosh, Gabby will love that. <laughs> I have that one. This one's kind of like abstract. You love the sand dollars? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty too. With the starfish. Another sea one. Little leaves. Look how big this one is. It's huge. <laughs> are these napkins? What are these? Oh, you put them, did you put them on something? They look like they're on a piece of, um, like you glued them on. <laughs> yeah, poor Gail, she doesn't have any any power tonight. Oh, these are cool, like they're already on paper. See that? Did you run these like through a, a machine, a Zyro machine or something? How'd you get them on there? Cool already. Can you see they're already like on copy paper? You iron? She ironed them on? <laughs> How do you iron them on? You need adhesive? Or you put like a backing, like a fusible web, and then you iron it on? That's a cool idea. I've never seen that. You're on butchered, oh, butcher type paper. That's a cool idea. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. And then I'll just stick that there. And then she sent, um, are you from Bronson? She sent, uh, she sent everybody one of these magazines from Bronson. I know um, Janet says that she goes to Bronson or she plans a trip there. Right, Janet? All right. Freezer paper. That's what she uses. Wow. That's interesting. They stick to freezer paper. Wow. CB. Thank you. Yeah, so I think Janet um, visits here, this Bronson. It's only three hours. Yeah, it's, oh, Janet says it's only three hours from her, and it's a fun place, Bronson. So, 
So, oh my gosh. Oh, and then this is Bass Pro. Jimmy will love this because he loves Bass Pro. So thank you for that. I loved going through that. <laughs> Some more collage to uh, cut up. Thank you so much. All right, and then the last thing. Oh my gosh, the last thing for sure is this, right? Yeah, my little bird. I love my little bird. <laughs> hey, Lori Lou. <laughs> Your vacation, it's about 8.5 million visitors a year. Wow. Wow. And then she makes jewelry. Oh, my gosh. I'm so – oh, I don't want to put your phone number on there. I hope I didn't put your phone number on there. So she does have an Etsy shop. Do you have your jewelry there, too, on your Etsy shop, Norma, and your pores? So so pretty. So she makes jewelry. So look how pretty that is. I'll have to hide this from Gabby because Gabby loves silver and black. <laughs> you see how pretty that is? Bronson's a great place to live and visit. Oh, I saw this of Janet's. I was like, oh, I hope I get one of those. <laughs> I'm going to have to hide all this from Gabby because she loves silver. <laughs> so now... Um, Norma actually hammered this. Let's get it open. Wrap it. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Can you see that? She actually hammers this, uh, the metal. And then she made this necklace. Look how pretty that is. Can you see it? Yeah, she makes gorgeous stuff. She does. Oh, my gosh. Gabby is going She's going to want this and definitely the bracelet. <laughs> I'll hide it from her. Um, thank you so much for all, for everything. Oh, this one is, uh, right. So I showed that. I showed this. Oh, are you loving it? Yeah, me too. And then I, she puts them in these cute little bags. I love these little mesh bags. My little blue ones that I have that look like coral, I'm actually getting them in purple. Jimmy found them in purple, so I'm going to get them in purple also. So, let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love these. It's a long necklace. You can see the chain. I love that. It's so nice and light. Here. It's got the dangly beads. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. That's a lot of work. You have a full time job and you do jewelry and all your crafting. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I'm going to love to wear that. But yeah, wait, there's more. All right. Oh, this is another bracelet. Oh, and it stretches too. Can you see? That one's pretty. See that? I love those, the little circle ones. Can't see that's pretty. Hi, Patty. Pretty Patty. So can you see those? All the different little beads in there. Yes, you're never bored. <laughs> That's good. You keep busy. Oh my gosh, you must not have time for TV, anything. Oh, this is going to be pretty. This has matching earrings. Yay. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. Oh, can you see the little earrings there? Dangly. I love dangly earrings. Gabby doesn't like dangly earrings, so I'm safe with this one. <laughs> that's true. That's true, Cece. Well, this has like a little jingle. Hear it? <laughs> and then there's this one with the bracelet. 
Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. You're so generous. And that is my happy, all my happy mail from Norma. Thank you so much. I have to find, I have to clear out one whole drawer just to keep all your stuff in it. <laughs> all right. I'm going to put all my tissue paper back. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what we're going to do next. I'm going to think I want to swatch this really quick. Oh, we have an hour, hour late. It's a great box. Norma is so generous. Yes, yeah, so generous. All right, so let's see. So I did get these. I'm sorry I didn't get the little ATC. Um, I wound up getting these from Waffle Flower. I bought this mainly just for this little tube because I thought I would, um, before I got this one, I thought I would swatch the, um, so the pink's like it's out of the tube. We have to be a piece. <laughs> That's good, Vicky. <laughs> Birthday? Whose birthday is it? I'm missing something. I know Cece's birthday in a couple days. They're cute stamped, yeah. But I really wanted it. I just wanted it for the uh, tubes of paint <laughs> and for maybe the paintbrush. So if I did some swatches, I could pretend like the paint is coming out of the tube. <laughs> Here, Jennifer. Oh. Oh, thank you, Nora. Thank you very much. All right, and then I wound up getting this. This one I wasn't so sure about. I wish I would have got the little ATC card instead of this, but I did get that. And then I got this, which I think is great for swatching. So this is on B paper, so I think we'll swatch this. And I've seen so many people get this one, so I just wanted to try the pastel one. I figure I would use that for, like, bases. Um, it's a little – it's pretty heavy for such a little thing. Um I wanted to see how bright the colors are. So let's put this to the side up there. Um, so I'm not going to use to fill the water brush, but it comes with the little water brush. This is cute, so you could use it like dabbing off instead of your, um, what paints are these? These are, you've seen them on, um, Oh, on Facebook, Instagram, um, where, you know, they slide out so that here's the little paint in here. These are watercolors. So this one is the pastel set. So I figured I would just try the one. So then, and so then here's your little uh, well for water. And then your little, like, instead of having a, a tissue or a napkin, you could dab off on your brush here. And then, so I thought we'll swatch these really quick. So let me get my water. Let's just dampen these. Are you welcome? Yeah, they've been on Facebook and Instagram too. So, so let's just swatch these really quick. See how they go. Let me get a napkin. You need those? The, I like them because they're small. But like I said, um, I think I could use this for faces. This one is kind of like mermaid-ish. And then is there another one? Oh, there's another one behind there. So actually it's four different little palettes on there. So of course I'm not going to swatch the white. You're not going to be able to see the white, but let's just see what the, the pigments are like. And I should, um, where is my little bee paper that I have? Well, you love those fan. Oh, they're vibrant, non-chalky, and they're good for the money. Yeah, I forget. I didn't pay a lot for these. I don't remember what I paid for these, but it wasn't a lot. So I was like, well, I'll give it a try. And I'm only because, like I said, almost everybody I've seen have, um, has been using these. They're pretty opaque. Can you see here's the black? And it does kind of cover over the black a little bit. You know, I swatch off to get try to, you know, get both colors. I've learned that from CC. Oops, I'm gonna go here first. And then I've been making um, tags with these and then sending them out with my orders. 
You got them from AliExpress? Uh, I didn't get them from Ali. I'm trying to think. I think I got them on Amazon, I want to say. All right, so let's do this one next, the pink. This looks like pretty pink. Yeah, I could definitely use um, these. I was paying attention in my class. <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah, because CC says you should just go over and just use your watercolor. This way you don't waste it and do something, you know, from that. And that's what I try to do. I think for carrying these around or like I am saying, like I'll be, you know, having surgery and kind of bedridden. So instead of having like all my palettes around, this might be a, a good enough palette to, you know, carry around. Just keep out. So I don't have to ask Jimmy to, you know, constantly get me stuff. Is there a brand name on here? It's just in um, Chinese or Japanese. It says Superior 18. No, pretty sure it's on Amazon. Oh, here it is. S-H-I-L-O-R watercolor paint set. It's a student feel sketch set. Student, you won't be able to see because I have the, the um, autofocus turned off. But it's S-H-I-L-O-R watercolor paint set. And this one, this is a pastel color. Hi, Amalia. Amalia, don't you have a couple of these? I thought I saw Amalia having some of these. That's a pretty lavender. Do you see that lavender? I'll bring it up closer. Yeah, they're on Amazon. That's where I got mine on Amazon. Yeah. Hold on. They're under several different names. Yeah. That purple is really pretty. Can you see that? The lavender. It's still kind of wet. You do. You got yours on Amazon. Oh, she showed a video too on hers. So I just got the pastel, the pastel ones. Did you what ones did you get? All right, so let's do this one next. Oh, that's like an opera rose kind of. Made back faces and follow as well. Welcome back, Julie. All right, here's another kind of lavender color. Kind of more like a gray lavender. That one's really opaque. Can you see that? It covered right over that black line. Can you see it? Uh, you don't know which ones you got. You got two trays of deep color. Look at that went right over that. You can still see the lavender underneath there. I think they'll be all right just to fool around with, so. Like I said, I got it mostly so that I can um, just actually take that out instead of having to take out a whole big palette, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know who else has these is Sarah, Sarah O. I think she has like, I want to say two or three sets of these. I've seen her um, on Instagram, on her Instagram. Yeah, they're pretty colors. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they can. Right? Yeah. Right, Cece? Blues are pretty, too. And they do kind of, you see the watermark? So you can get the watermarks out of them, too. You have them, too, Tam? Oh, you have the dark and richer colors. Okay, you love the pastel ones. I like the pastel ones. They seem pretty. All right, so let's do the last one, which is your favorite, Eileen, green. 
All right, so let's do this one. Kind of like a seafoam green. I've been able to use them all. They're lovely to work with, so Tam says she loves hers. It's pretty, so you have kind of like two yellows, a uh, kind of a peachy pink, two purples. Couple greens. Gay for green. <laughs> All right. Here's your green, Eileen. Look pretty. Yeah, they're hard, yeah, handy to carry around. Yeah, they're nice and light, and that's what I figure. Like, if I uh, just want to pull them out, if my hands are hurting me one day or something, that's pretty. Kind of like a olive yellow. It looks yellow on your screen, but it's more um, olive like, really. And then on top of that white. All right, then there's this green. Like grass green. And then I don't know, this is a white. So the, what is this? This must be like a light gray. It's hard to tell what that is. Because that's white. I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's hard to tell what that is. Maybe a white gray. I don't know what that is. Goes over this color nice, though. Let me try that. Let's see. Can you see how it goes over the white? Goes over that. It kind of just... Uh, Try it on black. Um, let's see. Kind of like a, still like white, really. It's, I wouldn't say it's silver, maybe gray. I don't know. It's weird looking. It's a weird, weird color. <laughs> Hi, Lori. All right. So that is this little palette. Like I said, instead of using a napkin, you could dab off here on that little sponge. I wonder if you'd be able to probably clean that sponge. All right, so just something for you guys to tease yourselves with and get it. <laughs> Hi, Peg. Uh, enjoying them. You brought your daughter set for their stocking. Oh, at Christmas time. Oh, so okay. So yeah, so Tammy and Amalia both like theirs. I'm going to leave mine open so that it dry. So stick that in there. Stick that one there. So I'm gonna leave mine open. Yeah, this, so this is the pastel color. All right. All right, so next, let's see. So there and there you go. So you can get a close-up look at them there. They're not bad. I don't think they're too bad. Like I said, I'm just going to use them for like when my hands hurt and I don't want to carry around all those palettes. I'll have that. All right. So before we swatch this and I tell you about this, I want to get my foil on here. Janet, are you paying attention? <laughs> Janet, where are you? <laughs> I'm going to send you some foil when uh, when you order next time. And I got to send you the maps. I forgot to send you the maps. All right, so so this is black watercolor paper, actual black watercolor paper from Canada. Um, that's from that canal company that lives uh, close to CC. All right, so what am I looking for? So I have my teal. I'm going to go with the teal that I got from Tokyo Pigments. And I, oh, here it is. So what I did was I took a stencil. And where's my little bottle now? Of my tacky. I wanted to show you... Um, I showed it in the beginning. This is a jar of 
tacky, wet, and dry from, um, here it is. So it's this, tacky, wet, dry, medium, gel medium from the Crafters Workshop. You're here. <laughs> Something to torture you by. <laughs> So it's and it's a small little jar. When I saw it, I thought it was like one. Usually their jars are, are pretty hefty. So this one is pretty small. And you don't need a lot. You can just see it's kind of like a white little paste. It's kind of fluffy. So then what I do is I just put it through one of my stencils. So it comes white. And then when it's clear, it's tacky. So I did let mine dry 24 hours. I think they said it takes about an hour, half hour, an hour. But still, like I said, this has been overnight, and so um, we're going to test it out. So this is the teal. Another one? Oh, my gosh. Like, what is going on? Thursday night must be a bad night. <laughs> so, so I have to be careful with this because this was the one that Patty just picked up, and it just kind of, like, flaked all over the place. So... So this is actual like gold leaf, but it's teal from, and that's from the Tokyo pigments. You can see that there. Maybe not. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so it comes like this. And then I'm just gonna try to use like half a sheet, maybe. It's so super sticky. And you don't get many sheets in here, I can tell you that. I think you get like five for the money. So, we'll almost ready to pick this up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to see how fl how flimsy it is. I mean, it's super. Be able to pick it up like this. Oh, I already dropped some of it. I'm going to put some on the bottom here. All right, let's just see how that works out. Hopefully I don't waste it all. Hi, Allie. All right, so I'm going to try to move it. I think I need to do it with this. I've seen some people use like this to put it on. So I'm going to try this. That's really pretty. I'm going to need a little more. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sheet off. Oh. That leaf is not foil. What is it then? <laughs> it's teal foil, teal leaf. Oh, darn, I want to pick that up. It's leaf like gold leaf. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Eileen. Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> it's like actual gold leaf. I want to brush that off. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, my gosh, this teal leaf. Oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. Like I said, though, we I want to say there's maybe only five sheets in the whole thing, and it was expensive. <laughs> but I figure I'm going to do something really 
nice with this, it's this sheet. And this is one of my favorite stencils. This is a Prima um, stencil. And I'm not going to waste another sheet, so I'm just going to have to go with what I have here. I'm missing some. Hi, Jill. <laughs> yeah, this is Tokyo Pigments, yeah. All right, so I think I have everything covered, and I think we did pretty good using almost all of it with on here. I want to put the other one away before I mess it up. Then we'll brush that stuff away, what we have left. All right, so let me put this away. Here. It's gold leaf, but you can't get any other color on can you on there on Amazon? I think you can get the regular like silver, gold, that type of stuff. All right, and then I've got my little cute unicorn brush here so that we can brush the rest of this off. Isn't that pretty? Can you see that? Look at that. <laughs> All right. I probably will have to brush some more of this off. You didn't know that leaf came in different colors? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Comes in... Um, even like printed, like leopard print, and uh, there's a girl. Um, she, I think she was from Australia, and she paints so much foil. I forget what her. They go for like thousands of dollars. Her um, paintings. I can't even think of what her name is. I also want to make sure I got like every little bit of dust on here that I can get. Oh, this is still sticky on here. Journal cells. Oh, they do sell a lot of colors, really? I didn't know they did. All right, so then we're going to brush some more of this. So we got most of that off. So, so I don't feel so bad about wasting this little bit right here. What I should do is um, I have a little jar where I keep like all these little crumbs and bits. Uh, I wonder if I have got like a little, maybe I could just stick it in. Maybe I'll just stick it in here for now. See if I can save that, that little bit. But I try to keep all my little bits together so I can mix them all up. All right, and let me just see if I have a harder brush that we could get the rest of this off. Maybe it'll just add to the, uh, the paper. But I would like to get most of it off. Hi, Barbara. Anybody new? Welcome. All right. So we've got about, about 40 minutes. So we might not be able to do the pigments tonight, Tokyo pigments. Um, let me see. Would you rather me swatch this tonight or do the pigments? You guys would probably say the pigments. <laughs> Um, since we only have a half hour or so, we go a little bit over. You guys just can head over to Jen's. It is her night to stream, you know, and I can, uh, you can always watch the recording. Gold flake seeds that get uh, all over the place. It's not that bad. Look it. I hardly have any mess. Look. But look how pretty that is. Can you see that now? There. And the teal. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. And there it is, too, in the teal. You can see it. 
So I'm thinking we're going to, whatever pigments we're going to go here, we're going to swatch on here, and then I'm going to put a lady's face on here. So that's my plan. All right, let me get some wipes. Uh, oh, the gold glitter flakes got you. <laughs> Thanks, Dee Dee. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, I wish I probably would have ordered like a, a more, but what are you going to do? As it was, thank goodness, Patty and I, we shared the shipping because the shipping was over $33 <laughs> for what we ordered. All right, there we go. All right, so. So what I'll do is I'll save this palette um, for Sunday. And we'll go out while um, share this because I'm interested to see how this works. So we'll do this Sunday. So I'll just open it up so you can see. It's got some really cool um, names. There is one name in, on here that, um, I mean, he is like a, I don't know, like a surfer dude maybe. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but um, he named all these different. There's one I didn't really agree with him, so I changed it. I changed what he called the, uh, but, so it comes in this little plastic um, palette. So you can see here, so it opens up like this. It's got all the 36 different colors swatched. Comes out like this. This is a cute little palette. It's kind of like the um, Koi. Is it Koi? And that you can actually put this in here like this and have your little uh, water palette in here. It's got, you know, your regular water. Wa oh, water pen and then two little sponges. Can you see the colors, all the different? This pink is supposed to be like super. He also does acrylic paint. He mixes different um, acrylic paint. We'll tweet the link for the colors. Oh, for yeah, tweet, tweet it to me too. For the foil, for the gold leaf. So I'll just read you some of these names. So this is what he has his palette. Uh, can you see that? So this one's called Saint, Soft, Shock, Happy, Sensi, Crush, 15 Minutes, Vincent, Ray Gun, Art Star, Runaway, Jealous, Pink, Bowie, Dropout. This is the one I changed. I didn't really like his name. I changed it to Love. <laughs> Haze, Always. And he has the right to do his palette. I just didn't realize that that was the name that he had on there. Um, dive. King Zulu, 1980, Zoltar, Alchemy, Envy, Venom, Emerald City, Grunge, Loser. <laughs> One of your favorite artists is gonna, Gold Leaf and Painting, yeah. Monster, Swamp, We Feel, Akinatin, Akinatin, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Bullion, <laughs> this one's called Butt Nugget, Stump, Dirtbag, and Void. <laughs> so... So, again, this is a palette by a guy named um, Stuart Simple, S-E-M-P-L-E. -E. And I actually found him. I belong to a face group, uh, group Larissa West, um, on Facebook. And <clears throat> she was showing this palette. And so I actually decided I would give it a try just to uh, do the colors. So we'll do this palette on Sunday just so that we can get to some of these pigments before 9 o'clock. We'll play with it then. It's cute. So the whole palette was, uh, with shipping, I think it was like 60 bucks. So for 36 um, half pans, I thought it was good. He also has um, paints, like different shift paints. So if you were to paint a unicorn, he shows it on his uh, video. If you were to paint a unicorn head in like purple and you keep it in the fridge it's, so it's a cold, it'll stay, um, you don't need more watercolors, <laughs> it'll stay purple. But then when you hit it with the heat gun, it switches to hot pink. So he does kind of wacky stuff like that. So what did the average Tokyo pouch run? <clears throat> These 15 grams, I want to say, were anywhere from... 13 to, what was the other one, 33, 30. So anywhere from 13 to $26. So some pouches were 13, some pouches were 26. 
Um, the one that's really small, like these 15 grams, I think they were only, I want to say they were only 10. They were less, 8 or 10. So <clears throat> many people are requesting to be given <laughs> your powers back. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Gala. All right. I will, re I will grant you your wish tonight. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There you go. There you go, Gayla. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's too funny. All right. So what I need is I need a glass mat. So I, um, Patty has a, a glass mat. I, I don't know where she got her glass mat, but I just use this. The We Are Making Memories um, glass mat. That's what I use. <laughs> Now she needs a cape. <laughs> oh my gosh. Superpowers. <laughs> She's restored. <laughs> so you've seen Patty do this one, so we won't do this. This is the uh, chromosome shine. This is the um, green. I forget what the tea is. Turquoise green. So if you've been to Patty, she is um, Inky Obsession here on YouTube. She also has these, and she's got a box today. So I'm sure she'll be streaming the weekend to her new colors. <laughs> Shazam! And then you've seen this one. She has this one, the duochrome uh, blue-green. So we will do those. So I have this one. This one here is Iridan Shimmer Pearl. And most of the ones that I got were white. <laughs> I did fall for her scheme, Denise. I did. <laughs> and this one is icy white. So we'll see what that's like. Now, this one is supposed to be Royal Damask. And can you see it's kind of got like a pink, a pink hue to it? Like these definitely look white. <clears throat> and this one's got some shimmer to it. But they really look white. So uh, I don't know how much time we'll have. So we're going to do the ones that kind of have look like color. So this one is called Color Space Turquoise. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, Patty got more. Yes, she did. Yep. So this one, so she has Pacific Lagoon. So I thought I would try this one. This one's called Pacific Twinkle. Can you see it's got like a blue green in there? That one looks good, doesn't it? <clears throat> Royal Damask is the one Patty had. I don't know. What, I forget which one she has, but she did get different ones. The one I really like that she got is a um, silver. She got this silver. It's really cool looking. And then she got... Um, one that's like a tan. I think it's another tan one she got. And she got another one that's like flaky. You love these, Joan? Oh, my gosh. And so this one's got, this one's called Rustic Blue Pearl. And it looks like it's got a little blue and purple in that one. And then my last one that I got, this one is Galaxy Blue. So since we only have a half hour, let's try, I think we're only going to be able to do two. And then we can play with these on Sunday. <laughs> Enabler work. <laughs> so, so I have my mask. I need a mask. Oh, I need my pigment. Where is my me medium? My gel medium. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so I'm using the creamer watercolor medium, and so this has. <clears throat> um, and you're not supposed to eat or drink or do anything, smoke, <laughs> when you have this. So this one has the, um, why does it say what it has? It's got the honey, the gum Arabic, and um, honey, gum Arabic, and something else. Glycerin, I think. It doesn't say on here what it has. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's so small. Gum Arabic, honey, and glycerin. Yeah. All right, so we got that. We need some pans. So let's see. I have a couple full pans and some half ones. Yes, glycerin. Thank you, Mimi. So I'll have um, some white paper that we can do. And we'll do it on our black that we just did. And in case I don't make a full pan, I've got some little half pans. <laughs> You ordered more pans, so now you just need pigments. So are you getting these, Debbie, these Tokyo ones, or are you getting the creamer, the Kramer ones? 
right, so we'll do these two, and if we have a chance to do a third one, we will. Oh, you know what I need? I need a, um, a what do you call it? Oh, I need a, a pipette. Where are my pipettes? I'm going to have to go get one. I, I'm going to have to go get one, I think. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can find one. I thought I brought one out here. Kramer at... You're getting both? Kramer and Tokyo? I think once you see uh, the shipping from Tokyo, it'll be like... Uh, that'll be all you'll get. <laughs> all right, here. I got my pet. All right, we need one of these. And I have a spoon. What else? I need another I need another one of these. So I need another metal one. Um, I'll have to just use my cricket one. <coughs> Good try. How does that? <coughs> <coughs> All right, so, so let's do the galaxy blue first. So I'm going to cut these open. And I'm going to put my mask on. All right, so let me put that on first so you know how it all stands. You plan on keeping one selling the other half pans on it. Oh, got you. Oh my gosh, Eileen. All right. So, let's get as much of the pigment down as we can. Oh my gosh, I sound like a muffled. <laughs> All right, so this is the Galaxy Blue. Is Patty here? Oh, there she is. <laughs> All right. Did you get your box, Patty? Got your box, right? All right, so I'm not going to make a lot. So we'll see how that goes. That's pretty on the spoon. Can you see it's got a, a blue iridescence to it? That might only make a half a pan. All right, let's do that. All right, and we need a little hole here. All right, that's pretty already. <laughs> she heard the crackling of the uh, <laughs> package open. Right. This looks almost like uh, Pacific Lagoon. Kind of. You know what I don't have is I don't have any alcohol. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, can you see anything? Not really, right? It's got like a blue, little uh, electric blue almost like. Oh, I didn't bring any alcohol. This is like sitting on the top where it really needs some alcohol, I think. You see it? <laughs> that thing is scotch. You're really supposed to mix these pretty slow. Oh, I need some alcohol. Not really mixing that well. Mm 
I'm going to get some water on here. There's Jean. Hi, Jean. How was the movie? What movie did you see? Spreading it all over the place. Can you see the blue in there? It's pretty blue. <laughs> I'm using your powers to help blend it better. I'm going to have to go get some alcohol. I wonder if it's supposed to be. It's how it looks like creamy still. Like, not creamy, but I mean looks like a cream color. You should have green gloves on. <laughs> All right, getting there. Let me just put this over here on this side. Oh, my compression gloves, yeah. <laughs> It's a weird color. I mean, I love the blue on there. Uh, some distressed water, not distressed, some distilled water as well. It's mixing, it's just taking a while. Let's see. It's pretty, yeah. So it should, since this glass is kind of white, you can still see the uh, the blue in there. On there, I can see the blue. Some gold would be pretty on this, yeah. Watch it. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. 
Russia. Terrible. All right, so get this. So I'm going to swatch it on white, and then I'll swatch it on the black. So brush. So you don't really, you, know, you see a little bit of, I don't know if you could, uh, it's like a creamy, like a cream color. Can you see it there? It's like, oh, my lighting, oh, there it goes. My lighting's not the greatest. You could kind of, right, right there. You see that? And I'm sure it'll be better on the black. So let's do it on the black. So I'm going to, oh, there you go. It's got like purple and blue. You know about the purple, right? It's so hard to do the purple on screen on the screen. So I'm just going to, there we go. So can you see it there? We'll have to let it dry. But it's blue. Blue to you, of course, but there's also purple. So let's see if I can get the purple to show. We'll have to let it dry. Let me let it dry a little bit. And then we'll put this into a, a dish, a pan. So now I do mine. Patty, like, scoops hers in there really well. <laughs> I can't do it like that. I have to do mine like this. Oh, I'm going to have a couple pans out of this one. And then I usually like to tap mine to get the bubbles out of it. <laughs> What's CP say? You think you need to change your line to ultra low? I don't know how to do that, Gene. <laughs> so maybe I might be able to get a half a pan out of here also. So let's see. But then it turns blue. Right. And it's what strange. Well, that's a lot. It's a lot in that one. All right, so I'm gonna put that one over to the side. See if I can scrape the rest of this. Ooh, I think that's going to be too much. I don't want to waste it. What am I going to do with this? Might have to put it in another little pan. Might just scoop a little bit of this out. I will tweet instructions. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jean. So I actually did almost two two pans, really. All right, there we go. So that one's a little less of a pan. That one's pretty full. All right. So I'll see if you could see that there, right there. See how it's dry? It's got the blue right there. You can see that now on the white. All right. Let me just wipe this off. What time is it? All 
All right, so I'll have time to do one more, I think. And then, Patty, do you have any idea if you're going to stream this weekend so you can show yours? <laughs> All right, so the next one we're going to do is, um, I think, let's do the Royal Damask, because that one looks like it's got like a, a pink tint to it. Oh, thanks, Jean. Yep, Norma's Etsy shop. Yep. All right, so I'm going to try not to do as much. So we'll see. Aspect on. All right, I got my mask back on for this pigment. So let's see. So I made two, almost two full pans. Where is that? That's this one. And I stole up quite. I'm going to say that you probably could get three, four, maybe six pans out of one. One little pack, my guess. Is this one you cut? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is, yeah. So, oh, so I showed you wrong. That's one we didn't do yet. So this is it. So we got two pans, maybe five, maybe only five pans out of one, one little bag. So if the one bag averages, say, let's say $15, you get five pans out of the little bag. That's five dollars, three six dollars. Plus, we probably used about a dollar for each pan. I always say a dollar medium for each pan. So you're looking at like four dollars to make this one pan or these two pans. About. But now the other one that's more expensive, that's like twenty five dollars. You know, <laughs> it's more. Plus, you got to count the shipping. You know. Each bag, you've got to add probably another two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, at least another three dollars a bag, maybe four a bag for the shipping. So, yeah, so these are not cheap. All right, I'm just going to go with that much on this one. This one's got that red in it. Can you see it's got like a pink? Right, you have to add the pan, you've got to add your tool around it, the little bags that's got to go in there. Yep. What's expensive is the medium. I think the medium is because in some of them, when I do like the mermaid's tail and when I do the whale's blue lagoon, I have to use a lot of medium <clears throat> in those. <coughs> right. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, I used the wrong thing. I don't want that. I want this. Now, this one mixes a lot easier than that other one did. Can you see the pink in there? Right. <laughs> exactly, CB. I think I bought this one because of the pink that has in there. I know, Eileen, pissy pink, I know. <laughs> but I bought it mostly for my mermaids. It's pretty, though. I could see it. Can you see it? <clears throat> it's funny how these are still like, like they don't change fully colors. Like it's not all pink, pink. It's got like a cream base to it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> baby pink, yes. Not pissy pink, baby pink. And this would be pretty for like seashells, I think. Or if I wanted to do um, the skin on my mermaids. Now here I can see a little bit more like a, a dark pink when I squish down on it. <coughs> can you see? Let's see that. It's got a bright pink underneath kind of. I might have to add a little bit more maybe to this. Kind of watery. Kind of like an oyster. I want to see it like an oyster pink. It's really pretty though. <coughs> Can you see the back of that? I think you can see that. No. Can you see that pink? No. Let's we'll see. I think I'm going to add a little bit more pigment to this one. Yeah, like pink pearls, yeah. And Eileen, I know if you want to head over to Jen's, you know, don't worry. Go right ahead. This will be the last one we do tonight anyway, so. She's not on yet? Okay. I might need just a little bit more medium now. Just a tad. Take the mask off. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like inside of a shell, right? It does, Ella. So weird because some places it doesn't look like it's mixed, and in other places it looks like it's watery. <clears throat> Yeah, like an oyster pink is exactly what it's like. <laughs> Gail has it right for once. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so we're going to try this one. Hey, Stacy. <laughs> All right, so let's give this one a go. So I can't see if that it has like a per, pink purple. Can you see that pink purple tint to it? All right. So where is our white? There it is. So I'm going to. Can you see that on there? Can't really. Pink, pink, and like purple, like lavender. Weird. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, I love that. So, can you? I'm gonna have to let this dry. But that is really pretty. Can you see it on the brush there? See how it is pink? It's like really, really pretty. All right, let's do it on the black. So I'm going to, oh, look at that. It's like mauve on here. I'm putting that over the foil. There you go. So we'll have to let that dry. It's nice on the black. Really nice. But I really like it on the white also. So there you go. You can see that. Love it on the black. Let's let that dry. It's really pretty on here. Like I could see this using for like my seashells. You can't really. These colors are so hard to see. Hold on. Make sure my paper towel. Like that doesn't look anything of like what it looks like in person. You see that tint of pink, kind of. That's what it really looks like. Doesn't have any blue in it at all. I don't know why it's showing blue. <laughs> why it's showing blue on the screen. Now, you see when I bend that, you can see the green in that. It's so weird that you have to actually bend these to see the colors. Like a mint green? Yeah, not really. It's so strange. It is pink. It is totally pink. You're seeing it green? It's totally pink. See how that is? That's what it looks like right there. Pink. That's a good color on it right there. Okay, Eileen, thanks for reminding. I'm going to put these in the pan, and then we can do these on Sunday. So, so let me put the cap on this. Yeah, it's green to you. It's not, though. It's not. The way I just showed it, where you just saw the, it looks green there. It's not. It's pink. It is so strange. How Like that, that looks like cream and green. It's not, not the case. <laughs> it's pink right there. You can see that pink. Oh. Nope. Right there. Right there. That's the true color that I'm seeing right there. Right, it's iridescent, so it flashes pink and green. Mm -hmm. How many did I buy? I got the one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, I think.
Okay, thanks, Dorothy. Yeah, so this one should just make a full pan. And then, like I said, I like to um, tap it to get the bubbles out. Yeah, this one's just going to make the full pan. It's so weird how it looks so violent, uh, violent, <laughs> violet pink on here. Didn't even really, not quite all the way to the top. Pretty close, though. All right, so. All right, thanks, Sharon. <laughs> All right, so Sunday we will um, swatch the uh, Stuart um, watercolors, and then we'll finish um, doing the rest of these. Yeah, so not quite a full pan. But, yeah, I love that. So I'm going to use that for my seashells, pretty sure. I can't believe how you can't see that hot pink on there. Like that violet color. No. Thanks, Joan. Thanks for modding. Thanks, Jean. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. As soon as you get them, you'll get, okay, next week you're going to do yours. Okay, Debbie. Yeah, and then Patty will do hers, and then I still have mine to do. So, so thanks, everyone. So don't forget, I got new things in the store. Be sure to check that out. Pink Paper Studio. Dot com, and then I will see you guys back here on Sunday. Thanks, Kayla. <laughs> We're giving you the power. Thanks for for modding. <laughs> um, yeah, and then um, so Debbie and those other girls will be streaming on Saturday. So bye, everyone. Have a good weekend. Thanks, EC. Thanks. <laughs> yep, you guys too. Have a good rest rest of your week. Bye. Bye, Joan. <laughs>